other my other video stopped in the middle because I had a phone call and it my the phone calls take precedence over anything on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to have my son hold this, Larry. Hold this. Give me the rope, please. Okay. Because I was the one that was there. I'm the one that did. Well, I also know the idea of it. Okay. The thing is, is you had this. Here. The damn bu it's the buckeye mine that they're after. Okay. They were tied on like this, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you would put the, the this around the the rope or vine. I'm not sure I was scared out of my mind. The kid had been pushed in there by some guy because she found something and, and he wanted it. Mom? I'm pretty good with knots, so okay. let me. It wasn't a knot, Larry. Stop, okay? I know how you were talking about. This is not doing what I want it to do. Let me. No, I need to do this myself, Larry. Like I said, I was the one down in that damn But I already figured them. out the concept. Okay, got that. Let's just say that this is the other end of the rope. Or plastics. Some of it was plastic bags. Okay. Larry. Mom. Hold this piece right here. That, that won't work. You need something like my arm. Trust me. Okay. I can't. You can't even see what you're doing when you're doing it. Now take this, hold this up here, right here, hold Mom, this. Mom, my arm! No, hold it this. It will work. No, it won't, Larry, because you're not eating, the camera's over here. You're going to make me mad. Thing is, I'm the one that was down in there, I know how it was done. That's not a rope. The rope hangs down. I know. Or vine or whatever. Go like this, put it around, put, around, put this through, and then you have a foothold or a handhold to go up. I was the one tied to his waist. I had to pull the rope up and take these off and hand them up to him so that he could keep climbing and get us out of there. That's why she was... There was uh, icky water on her. But she did not die in that hole. She was alive when we took her to that house. It was a few, uh, almost a week after that that we ended up in court and, and we won. We were supposed to get custody back. And they made everybody wait until after Christmas because they said that she had a had a... A, a Christmas event that she had already been, that she already agreed to do and got paid for and everything. And they kept throwing legal stuff at us, saying that if she didn't go, that, that they would sue us and they would end up getting custody back again. Well, I'm the one in court holding her, trying to, no, Ramsey was, she was holding her. Alan tried to get her out of her arms when we were given custody. And she wouldn't let go. And I started screaming, no, stop, Alan, you're going to hurt her, you're going to hurt her, don't, don't. Because the woman wouldn't let her go. And I didn't want her to get hurt. And that's when we agreed to let her stay. After the judge gave us custody, we agreed to let her stay until after Christmas. Well, she found out that they weren't going to 
they were taking off Christmas Day. Yeah, she went out, she got help going out the window, and she got a ride. Yeah, she was a very smart little girl. Got a ride to the hotel where we were. And I've already typed in what else happened after that. Until she was taken back to that house, everything else was accidents. It was when we tried to pick her up, and they started telling us that, that oh, she wasn't there, and then she they told us she was sick. We had to go back several times. And then they ended up hurting us trying to leave. Well, when we got back here... The guy that they keep blaming ended up getting hurt. So, I don't know what they think they found or solved or whatever on the Ramsey case. But until they talk to the real people involved, they haven't solved shit. All they're doing is hurting innocent people. It was either the, the nanny that ended up hurting her. I, I'm hoping that the woman that raised her didn't hurt her, but I can't guarantee that it wasn't her that did it because she was mad that John Bonet wanted to come back with us. She didn't, even all the pretty dresses and all of this and all of that, she didn't care. She still wanted to come back. And so it was either the nanny, Patsy Ramsey, or the fat man. It doesn't matter. Things that were done to her that we were going to report when we got back here would have made all of this shit look like nothing. Okay? Nothing. That happened to her while she was there. They didn't want us taking... She had a corset, a full corset on... They said that we couldn't take it off because it was too hard to get her back into it. And the day after Christmas, she had that event she was supposed to go to. And they didn't want to have to fight her when we brought her back, so we had to leave her in it. Yeah. Like I said, the lies that were told about all of this has gotten way out of hand. All for a lot of accidents and hearsay and... And moon, what a, that smell out of here, it rough is just, oh, Mom? it's beyond offensive. Mom, Mom, Mom. My eyes are watering. Can I have my phone? Phone's over there. I don't care, that smell's coming over here, and it just, <laughs> moon, that smell just, it hasn't stopped, buddy. <laughs> You go find a place to, to go take a dump. Like, like, <laughs> because that just... Oh, that's horribly offensive. Oh. oh. Oh, my eyes are watering. <laughs>